Let's take a look at some selected questions from checkpoint test one that you might have gotten incorrect. Number one E, we need to simplify this exponential expression and we need to remember that it's a two-step process. Firstly, make sure that all your bases are prime numbers and then use your laws of exponents to simplify. So we can see that two is a prime number, but four is not a prime number. So we need to start off by writing four as a product of prime numbers. Four is actually two squared. So it will be two squared to the power of n plus one. And here we can apply exponential law, 2 cubed multiplied by n minus 2. We need to times the 3 by the n and the negative 2. So that gives us 2 to the power of 3n minus 6. If we do the same thing now in the numerator, we need to multiply the 2 by the n and the 2 by the positive 1, which gives us 2n plus 2. And now we can use our laws of exponents in order to simplify. So the laws say that when you multiply powers of the same base, you add. And when you divide powers with the same base, you subtract exponents. So we've got all bases of 2. We're multiplying the two bases in the numerator. So we're going to add their exponents. We're then dividing by the base 2 to the power of 3n minus 6. So we're going to minus 3n. And because we are subtracting the whole thing, Negative 3n minus 6, if you distribute the negative n, means that you get positive 6 at the end. So that will give us 2n plus 2n is 3n. Subtract 3n is 0, so the n's uh, add up to 0. And we're just left with positive 2 add 6, which is 2 to the power of 8. Okay, number 3b. We've got an equation with a radical in, and we've got a square root on the left and a square root on the right. They're both a single term on both sides, so we can go straight away and square both sides of the equation in order to remove those square roots. So we're just left with 2m minus 6 is equal to 3m minus 14. If this is a linear equation, there is no m squared or variable squared, so we sim uh, solve by getting all of the terms with m onto one side of the equation and all the numbers onto the other side. So that just leaves us with m is equal to 8. If we check that solution, the square root of the left-hand side is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by m minus 6. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 6 is 10, so that leaves you with the square root of 10. The right-hand side is equal to the square root of 3 times m minus 14. 3 times 8 is 24, minus 14 is 10, so you're left with the square root of 10. So m equals to 8 is a valid solution. Question 4c from the checkpoint practice test. You were asked to say what percentage uh, does the value of the car drop over the first 10 years. So you should have got for number 4a that your starting value was 750,000. The value in 10 years time is 100,000. So you want to know how much has the value dropped by. So we first need to find the difference. In other words, the actual rand amount that it's gone down which will be 750,000 minus 100,000. You're going to divide that by the starting value because you want to find out how much the starting value has changed in percentage by and times that by 100. That gives you 650,000 divided by 750,000 multiplied by 100 and that gives you a percentage of 86,7%. So in other words, the car has depreciated or lost value by 86,7% in the 10-year period.